Hey everyone, this is Kenny Long with the Trucking with Authority podcast. We're going to try something a little new today. We'll be going live in a, uh, about 40 minutes, 7 p.m. tonight at the top of the hour. Tonight's show is all about your bottom line. Usually we talk about uh, earning more money, trying to earn revenue on the top line to negotiate better, get better rates. But there's a lot to be said for saving money. And Vnomics has a new product that we're going to try out. Uh, one of my drivers, Chris Wright, and you can find him in the Facebook groups. Chris has been trying this. He turned me on to this product. I met with this company at the Transparency 18 conference, and it shows some pretty, um, pretty huge potential. Could be a game changer. So I told him I wanted to check it out. Now, I don't drive much anymore. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a desk jockey. I'm in the office more than I drive. But as it turns out, tomorrow, this week, I will be on the road. I'll be taking a trip from Florida up to Ohio and back. And over the next month or two, I'll probably have a few more opportunities to do a trip like that. So they sent me one of their devices. It's called the True Fuel Device. And I want to unbox it. Now, I have no idea how this works. I sh saw a little bit of a demonstration about the back office. I s heard some stories about it. I've seen some of what Chris has been doing. But we're going to try it out ourselves. So we're going to cut the tape here, the Venomics device, and try it out. Check and see what it has to offer. Now. I want to go to their website and I'll read you some of what they're trying to accomplish. This is unlike any other device fuel saving technology that I've seen so far because it's not about trying to keep you from pressing the pedal harder. It's not about trying to make you drive slower. It's not about, you know, restricting the fuel. It's not something you put in your in your fuel lines or in your tank. It's not an additive. What this is is a computer and let's pull it out of the box here. It's a computer that you plug into the ECM port. And it gets readings from your engine, speed, and so forth. Uh, I believe it's GPS enabled. Let's see, we got a we got a little installation card here, quick installation guide. So we'll uh, we'll get into this sh shortly. Uh, looks like we have the device itself. Now, Chris sent me some pictures. I have not actually seen it in person. Chris sent me pictures of how he has his installed. But this is it. It's just this, this box. We've got some ports here. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's see, we have, it looks like a, uh, what it looks like to me is one of those uh, chargers, uh, those wireless style chargers, this little hockey puck type. And then uh, I've got a couple of connections here. It looks like it's a, an antenna of some sort. Come back to that. We've got, uh, now I have a 2002 Freightliner Sentry that I'll be trying this out in. So they sent me, I've got a six pin connector. And it looks like they sent me also a nine pin connector. Let's see, we've got the data cable that'll plug into the connector there. Uh, various Velcro type strips and some wire ties. And this is a nine pin Y splitter. And it looks like that is what was included in the box. Now, I'll start by saying that this was the box they sent it in. It's not some flashy, super you know, colorful on the shelf type thing. They're not targeting on the shelf customers. So this is a, a different type of technology. They are not looking for sales at the truck stops right now. Uh, right now what they told me is they are working with some pretty significant, si significant sized fleets um, and they're trying to monitor the different drivers. So we'll look here, we have, looks like the data port will plug in here We've got on the bottom here, we've got a uh, GPS antenna port and uh, MDM, it must be modem data port. So I do know that it has wireless connectivity. Over here we've got, looks like for a memory card, 
and a USB port. Notice on the top here, it does have a little speaker on top. Pretty simple design, really. And on the other side, inside here, looks like we have a SIM card. I do know, like I said, it's data enabled. It actually has its own SIM card, so it is going to communicate. You don't have to pair this to a phone or anything. Now, again, this is called the True Fuel product by Venomics. You can't see it because my uh, I've got the green screen effect going on, and it's a green logo. Uh, but you can see the the logo in the in the top of the screen up here, Venomics. So the installation guide, it's pretty simple. It says uh, with engine off, write the vehicle number and Venomics de device serial number and the space is provided. Type the information into an email and send it to uh, their email address here. Press the dual lock tabs together, which are the uh, Velcro type strips and then here to the bottom of the Venomics device. So they want, want you to put Velcro type, and these are the strong, uh, heavy duty Velcro uh, plastic, they're not the hook and loop style, they're the stronger type that you'd uh, maybe attach a transponder to your window or something like that. Now I saw how Chris has his, he sent me some pictures, he has his Velcroed nice and neat right on the dash. And it looks like that would work perfectly and he has his antenna, the hockey puck, Mounted right on top as well. Locate the nine pin diagnostic port, which is pretty simple. Now I have a six pin diagnostic port, so uh, they did send me the six pin connector. Rag, uh, route the diagnostic cable between the dash and door frame. Simple, connect the antenna cables. This is the antenna again. Looks like this is pretty simple. Connect these cables. Um, pull the antenna out of the bag here and Take a look. We've got a 3M double-sided tape. And we have, okay, so a short little cable, so it's gonna need to be right near the device. So mounting this device on the dash is probably the best way to do it. Again, your MDM modem and your GPS, clearly marked, so that'll be pretty easy. Clean an area on the dash, secure the, the Venomics device, apply the adhesive disc to the antenna, and position the antenna with a clear view of the sky and secure accordingly. Testing and post installation. Start the truck engine. An LED light on the device will turn on. So we'll have an LED light. Now I have not identified where the lights are yet. So we'll have to do a little looking here. Now it also looks like this port here looks as though it's going to have, almost looks like it has one of those um, stylus pen holders here, but I don't know what that's for yet either, so we'll be finding that out as well. If the LED v uh, continues to flash or stays on, it's signaling a problem with the installation, visit the support page and email Venomics. So that's it. That's pretty simple. Now, how does it work? Again, I haven't tried it yet. I'm getting feedback from my driver, Chris. Um, so far, he really likes it. Uh, it's, I've seen some feedback between v the Venomics team and him, and it's interesting what they're, what they're collecting. So let's talk about that for just a minute. If you go to their website, which is simplevenomicscorp.com, you find the True Fuel tab. Now, one of the comments on here, the... Uh, you know, that catchphrases, so to speak, on here. True Fuel is their primary product, optimizing driver performance and ensure your bottom line. And that's what tonight's podcast will be about, about in about half an hour. The benefits. Venomics True Fuel is a self-contained, easy-to-install fuel optimization solution for commercial trucking fleets that increases profits and provides a competitive edge. Now, they have been targeting fleets. When I met them at the transparency conference a couple of weeks ago they told me they were targeting fleets and i said they have got to get into the owner operator market i think there is huge potential for the owner operators the patent patent system <coughs> excuse me combines real-time driver coaching 
precise vehicle monitoring and comprehensive fuel use analytics to significantly improve fuel economy. As a standalone solution, True Fuel adds value for any fleet, regardless of its telematics or onboarding technology platforms. Now, it does not have a screen, as I showed you. There is no visual indicator, but I also showed you that there is a speaker on it. It's going to read your speed, fuel consumption, shift points, and all of the above, and try to optimize that, and it will give you an audible tone to try to help you improve. Now, the, the theory behind this is interesting. I'm trying to find that phrase, how it works here. So this is the key and the whole point of this product. MPGs, mile per gallon, is not an accurate measure of performance but you and your drivers already know that. Now, I'm gonna post this video in the mile per gallon group and in the nine plus mile per gallon group and all of the other groups. There are a lot of people that are trying to squeeze every last hundredth of a mile per gallon and they wanna be, they wanna have that bragging right of getting the absolute best fuel economy. Fuel economy is extremely important. We're gonna talk about that tonight. But this concept, miles per gallon, is not an accurate measure of fuel performance. There's a trade-off. There are two schools of thought on fuel economy and speed and, and the different ways that you can drive. One is, who cares about fuel? Let's get the load delivered as fast as possible. Use whatever fuel it takes so we can get the load off and get the next load. Because if we can get more loads in a week, we make more money. And the other school of thought is, if we can save more money by driving slower, shifting slower, easing in and out of traffic, get the absolute most miles per gallon possible, we can save more money. In both schools of thought, it, uh, standalone, they think that they can get more money on the bottom line. And in some respects, both are correct. There's a time to drive faster, there's a time to try to squeeze every drop. But this device, miles per gallon, is not an accurate measure of fuel performance. What they're trying to do and target with this device is try to squeeze the most performance, get the best fuel mileage, time, and all of the above to try to save as much money, save as much time, which is more important than ever with the LDs, and accomplish the big picture. There are a lot of little devices, and this is what I thought was really cool about this product. There are a lot of little devices that try to target one specific thing. They're trying to get the most fuel economy or they're trying to get the best one particular piece of the puzzle, the, the best of this one thing. This tries to accomplish the big picture overall. We want the best performance, the best efficiency to get the job done, save as much money as possible, not, not overspend for fuel, but make sure that we are safe with our time and fuel economy both. We're gonna be reviewing this over the coming weeks, so stay tuned with that. One of the things that, uh, the feedback that Chris got, which I thought was interesting, is over the first couple of weeks, they, they don't really give you a whole lot of feedback. They want you to drive just like you've always driven. And what they're trying to do is learn your habits. This device will learn how you drive now. I thought that was super cool. It will learn what you're doing. Remember, this is not on site, this is broadcasting to the web, so it's gonna sh you're gonna be able to pull up an online portal and see what are your habits, how are you driving. One of the things that, one of the very first things that they showed Chris was, he was driving 70 plus miles an hour, driving the speed limit everywhere over the course of a week. And they showed him, driving this fast, you saved X number of gallons of fuel, or you burned X number of gallons of fuel. Had you slowed down to just 65, you would have saved this number of gallons, and I think it was 11 gallons or s something like that. There's, there was a you know, pretty significant amount over the course of a week. It didn't seem like much over that week, but when they broke it down a little further, they said, had you driven 65, you would have saved that amount of money, that, those, that fuel that you burned, you would have saved that, which equates to right now we're at about $3.26 per gallon. You would have saved that in your pocket, 30 to between 30 and $50 for that week from what they showed him. And it costs you only 11 minutes per day. So of that, you saved only 11 minutes per day. Did it make that big of a difference to only save 11 minutes per day 
and burn an extra $50 or more, whatever it was. And I'll, uh, when we uh, start showing some reports here, I'll show you. But it was really interesting. It's hard to look at the big picture throughout the week. If we can start learning it, I think we can all save a lot of money. So stay tuned. Check out the Venomics True Fuel Device, venomics.com, venomics, uh, V-N-O-M-I-C-S corp.com. The logo there is up in the corner, and I'll be posting more about it. We're going to be talking about saving fuel, saving money, putting more money on your bottom line tonight on the podcast. Check us out in about 22 minutes. We'll be going live. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you in a few minutes.